Hello everyone, it's Mark and welcome back. In this video, I want to talk about the Baker Act and handling your case or your loved one's case all on your own. And um, just recently, I, I've had a number of calls where the family says, well, you know, we're not going to pay for a lawyer or we can't afford to pay for a lawyer and we're going to handle this ourselves. And, you know, I just cringe. I really do. I, I feel I feel terrible for these folks. I've had my own family member Baker Act that I've talked about that, you know, in other videos. But I think if you try to handle this yourself, I think that you're going to be very disappointed with the result. It's you versus the state of Florida. These facilities are authorized to act as agents for the state. They have all the power and unlimited resources of the state. And you are, um, respectfully, you are not a lawyer, unless you are, but if you're not a lawyer and you're not familiar with all the 123 pages of the Baker Act and how these facilities abuse the Baker Act and all the pitfalls of, of voluntary admission versus involuntary admission and all the criteria, if you're not familiar with all of those things, then I think that it's a very, very difficult and, and tough road to, to, to go down if you're planning on, on doing this yourself. For, I mean, even just filing a petition, right? I mean, who do you, first of all, if you can, even, if you can get the, the paperwork, and I can tell you that our petition looks nothing like the clerk of court's going to provide you, that's going to be one or two pages and you'll have barely enough room to put your own name uh, and a few lines to put in some information as opposed to our pleading, which is typically an eight-page petition plus another six pages of case law. But if you can file your own petition um, and you know where to file it, I mean, who are you going to call to make sure that it gets to a judge? What happens if there's a hearing? How do you get a hearing set? What happens if there's a lawyer that represents the facility? You're going to be able to speak to that person. Do you know who it is? Do you going to know who to call? I mean, you know, it's not just a matter of filing some paperwork. It's a matter of, you know, knowing how the system works, right? How does, how does the facility get noticed? How do they find out about the, 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 the petition you filed, right? How does that, how does that get done? You know, all of these things, um, and that really just boil down to the fact that we've, you know, between I think all the lawyers, you know, we've got over 100 years of legal experience now in our team, and we've handled hundreds of these cases, and, that, and that's what you're paying for, all that experience and knowledge, not just filing your petition. And so, look, you can try and handle this yourself. Um, I think it's, I think it's, uh, I think it's a fool's paradise, but look, I, I just give people options. I don't tell them what to do. Anyway, with that said... Um, I would suggest you don't try and handle this yourself. Find a lawyer. It doesn't have to be us, but find a lawyer to help you. Anyway, thanks for tuning in. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.